Okay, we're going to look at some sales data, and I found this data online, and um, I thought it was a kind of a cool data set, and it, it, it could really show off some of the, the neat features of Jump Pro. So I thought it would be uh, appropriate. Um, let's start up um, Jump Pro here. I've already started it up, but um, for you to start it up, you go to All Programs and say Jump Pro, and click it here. Okay. Now let's uh, go open sales data. Okay. Now let me run you through this um, data set. We have um, some instances here, or transactions. Each one of these uh, rows represents a, a transaction. Uh, customer 91 uh, is from Lincoln, Nebraska. The category that they purchased from is um, product A. And the total cost of that transaction was uh, $2.52. And the cost of goods sold is $2.27. So this means that it cost the company $2.27. The company would have went around and flipped it and sold it to the, that um, customer 90, number 91 for $2.52. So sales minus cost of goods sold would be the profit. And as you can see, the company did not make very much money off this particular, um, this particular transactions. But we're going to explore it a little bit further and um, try to determine um, a little bit more about that uh, profitability of partic particular um, categories. But first we're going to look at uh, states and we're going to see how much um, sales are coming from particular states. So if you were to do this in Excel, you would use a pivot table. And um, Jump Pro also has uh, pivot tables, but it's, it's, uh, it's called a tabulate. So to find that, you would go under Tables, and you go to Tabulate. So as I said, we're, we're going to look at uh, st the state and the, the total number of sales that are coming from that um, um, state. So we're going to drag and drop as a row the state. Okay, And actually, let me stop you here. Um, for Florida, we have uh, 22 transactions, you see. And then under New York, we have 28 transactions. And um, so as a percentage of, of the total number of transactions, I can look at column percentages. And this will show that 10% of the transact total number of transactions are coming from Florida. 1% um, are coming from Louisiana. Okay, and, and we had said that we wanted to look at total sales now. So um, to do this, I'm going to drag total sales over to, to the right of the column. And it should line up as blue. And I'm going to let go. And then I get something that says new column table with analysis columns. I'm going to click that. And so this shows us our total number of sales and, and where they're coming from, what state they're coming from. So uh, 27,000 in total sales are coming from New York. Um, 25,000 are coming from California. But what about the, the, the mean? You know what? What? What is? It, what is the mean? So to, to do that, we could just right-click under sum. So I right-click sum. I go to statistics and I say mean. Okay. So actually, our our largest um, mean transaction is coming from New Jersey. Okay. Now we can also do some. Um, some other stuff that's really cool uh, with this and it's um, kind of uh, it visualizes it in a nicer way and I'm going to show you that show that to you now so let's go to uh, graph and we're going to go to graph builder okay so we're going to visualize this uh, on a map so we're going to say state and I'm just going to drag and drop this to the middle okay and so this draws our little states here Okay, increasing the size of this. Okay, now we want to take a look at sales. And so I'm going to click on total sales. And I'm going to just drag and drop it right on top of that map. Okay, so now it highlights um, our, our map. And this shows us our mean uh, uh, sale. Um, and so as you can see, we're kind of missing some, some states here. And um, so I'm not sure if it's, it's probably just when I sampled the data, I just didn't include everything. Or, or maybe um, the uh, data, set, data set itself, the entire data set, didn't include 
uh, these states or weren't selling to these states for some reason. But this um, gives us a, a color-coded map, right? So the smallest number of sales are going to be in dark blue, and the largest number of sales, mean sales, are going to be um, in, in dark red. So dark red, a lot of sales, um, dark blue, not as many sales here. And of course white would mean no sales whatsoever. And we can also look at um, the number of transactions. So that would be n, so that would be a number of total sales. And um, okay, we can look at um, oh, the median. Okay, so in this particular case, uh, Louisiana has one of the highest um, median sales. But if we look at the mean, uh, it's pretty insignificant at, at a thousand, well, about in the middle there. Okay, so now let's look at something else here. I'm going to say done, and um, we can either save this or I'm just going to go ahead and, and close it down. Let's create another column here and let's look at profit. Um, remember, this is a sales minus the cost of goods sold as it comes up with profit. So here I'm just going to say new column. I right clicked, and so we're going to add something called profit. Okay. Now um, I'm going to right click on the top, not, not in the middle, but on the top where it says profit. I'm going to say formula. Okay. And I'm going to increase the size of this a little bigger. Okay. So now we're going to look at um oops. Now we're going to look at uh total sales. So I'm just going to click that once. Minus the cost of goods sold. And this is going to come up with the um profit. Okay. So Okay, we made a quarter here on this transaction. And we're just kind of looking through here and we have um twenty six hundred dollars we made on that last transaction. And we can also sort. So I'll right click on profit and I say sort. Okay, it's sorting it from high to low. Ooh, look at this. We we made four thousand dollars on this particular product here. On this particular transaction.